don't have a ton of time. So we're going to let David come up. Uh, David, we're going to pop you on the screen um, and really just let you get started. Um, there you are, David. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. I'm okay. What about yourself? Well, we're doing good here in Texas. Um, the awesome. sun is out. So that is what mm -hmm. is really cool about right now. <laughs> it's not raining. I have electricity, David. Everything is well. <laughs> yeah. um, so we're going to let you get started. Um, you, I'm just going to let you go ahead. I have your screen ready, um, but Ryan and I are going to hop backstage. Um, you just take it away. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, thank you very much for having me. It's uh, it's a pleasure to be here and to share with educators and students watching uh, worldwide. You know, such a wonderful event. Uh, so thank you for, for organizing that and inviting me. Uh, so just a little bit about myself briefly. My name is David Pena. I'm originally from New Jersey and I uh, now work uh, overseas in Mexico in a state called uh, Tlaxcala, which is about uh, like maybe two and a half hours, three from Mexico City, if people are familiar with that area. Uh, so I am presenting from all the way over here. And today I'm going to be sharing with uh, with you guys, all, the, all our attendees, teachers, and students, how to showcase uh, your your certificates, your awards, achievements, uh, you know, anything that you have that you want to present uh, in a wonderful way. You can do that with Wakelet. Right? I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, digital portfolio and be able to showcase that it basically instantly. Uh, should you you know want to. Um, demonstrate your your certificates your collection of diplomas stuff like that uh we're going to use a combination of two tools and obviously wakelet is going to be the top one okay so let's get started over here uh you can see a uh, bio link all right this one i made particularly with uh, link r dot bio um i don't have any coupon or code for you guys sorry but uh, just in case you were wondering, no, this is just one I use, but you're free to use whatever you want. Honestly, Linktree, BioLink, I mean, there are a bunch out there. Uh, feel free to use whatever you want. So this is just one of the BioLinks I have. Um, it is in Spanish because most people here, you know, obviously in Mexico, they speak Spanish. So uh, the one I want to showcase right now is one called, uh, you know, My Certifications or Mi Certificaciones, Spanish, okay. And once you click here, it's going to take you to this uh, wonderful Wakelet page, okay? And you are going to see a collection of different certificates, awards, PDF, uh, I'm sorry, uh, PD certificates and such. So I have some from Magic School AI, from Canva, uh, from some conferences I've given, Pear Deck, Microsoft, and et cetera. So, you know, we have some book creator there. So you can really just showcase all of your work um, and regarding these particular certificates and awards, like I said, in an instant, right? Uh, people don't have to like click on them one by one. You can just like showcase them all in one single place. And, you know, that's the wonderful uh, tech of Wakelet. Okay. So got some cahoots there as well. So in order for, you know, for you guys, teachers or students, I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. All right. So all you're going to need to do is open your Wakelet profile. OK, and you're going to head over to your collections. All right. So here you have all of the you know group of collections you have made throughout the time. OK, you're going to go to the top right button that says create collection. Click on that. Okay, and there we go. We have a blank, you know, blank canvas where to work. So, all right, you can just, you know, start. You can say, um, nah, you know, my, um, mm, you can say maybe my collection of um, certificates. Okay, and professional development, right? Maybe something like that, you know, feel free to use whatever title you want right there. You can add a description. I mean, some people have this like through year or maybe if uh, if you teach multiple subjects or, you know, whatnot, you might say, oh, you know, this one is a particular collection for all my like uh, EFL, ESL certificates or my STEM achievements. I mean, feel free to do that. I'm just going to right now just, you know, say um, a complete collection. Okay.
Complete collection of my own certificates. There, nice subtitle. Okay, Oop, let me just fix that. Okay, after that, no, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna go to the design part. Okay, uh, Wakelet does have a great variety of things that you can choose from. I mean, you can even generate or design uh, with Canva. So, you know, how cool is that? I like Canva because I am a local leader and ambassador for the state of Flexca. So I do use Canva a lot. Um, but, you know, uh, I do know if I go right now there, I'm going to probably, you know, takes my time. <laughs> so I, I don't want to do that with you guys. And uh, you also do have generate an image, which, you know, is a wonderful feature that has been recently added with the power of AI. All right. I'm just going to go to choose a gift just for the sake of time. And uh, yeah, you can, you know, select whatever you want there. I'm just going to type in certificate. And let's see what pops up. Mm, uh, let's say I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to go with this one over here. There. Okay. So we have this nice little GIF. Next, a background image. You want to make sure that when people look at this, all right, they feel engaged. They like, a, you know, the the images that you're using and such. So you don't want to make it boring, honestly. Whether you're a teacher or a student, I mean, feel free to let your creativity fly. Uh, I'm going to choose this one because I like space. Okay, but you know, you could choose one like I had, which was the uh, like the graduation uh, picture. I think that one goes well as well. Now for layout, once we have our cover image and our background image, of course, like I said, it's not obligational. Just feel free to put as much creativity as you want. I particularly chose a mood board because I can rearrange the uh, the images of my certificates and achievements in whichever way I want, honestly. I just think it's better, but you can organize it whichever way you want. I'm just going to use mood board because that's easier, at least for me. I, I found it more useful. So I'm going to click on mood board. And there. Okay. All right, next. As we know, we, we can definitely add PDFs pictures, bookmarks. So in order for, for the pictures, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, for the certificate and achievements to be seen simultaneously, you're going to have to either convert them from PDF or maybe a docx format, if that's, that's what you have, uh, to PNG or to uh, JPEG, you know, or, or any other. But typically PNG is, is a good one, JPEG also is another format, okay? So, Okay, I'm just going to show you how it looks one way or the other. I'm going to go to here to my documents. Uh, just going to randomly select something here. Um, just let's say that. All right, so I selected a file or a certificate I have in a PDF. And if you do that, it's going to look up like this, right? So it's going to have the title at the bottom, and it's also going to have this um, the, the image showing showcasing it's a PDF. Now, in order for it to be an image, right, we're going to have to select something, okay, that is in that format. Oops, sorry. You can either click this button, right, from if you have your certificates anywhere from here, you can also showcase them here, okay. Now, one of the things that you can do, and I, I want to show that real quick, okay is a nice little trick. Let's just imagine a certificate templates we're going to put here. Should you have your certificates maybe open in an email or something of that sort, anything else, OK? There is a quick, fun way you can add them. Um, hmm, let's see. All right. Let's take a look at this picture over here, and I'm just going to click on Save. Just going to put Save Image As. OK, Industrial Aesthetic Header Edit Online. OK, it's a WP image. OK, so as you can see, that has been highlighted within my downloads area within my, I, I use Chrome, so it's up in the right corner. OK. Now you can definitely add an, an image, or you know, once you have converted your certificates, 
uh, awards, achievements, whatever. Okay, you can upload an image through this route, which is you know clicking on the icon button over there. Go to your downloads in case you have, and maybe I'm going to use. Uh, I don't know. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's say this is my certificate. So I'm just going to add that there, and voila, you have an image, right? Now, if you have just recently downloaded your certificate, your award, okay, and it's in an image format already, it's going to be even easier, right? Because you don't necessarily have to go to your downloads, like click on the icon, go to download, select the image. You can just do a quick drag and drop. Now, all you have to do is click on this download icon with the arrow, okay? Select the image that you, that you have, okay? Your certificate, whatever, and just drag and drop it here where it says paste any link address and watch what happens. Oops. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it could get a bit tricky, but it does work. Hmm. All right. Now that's quite odd. It doesn't it's not showing up like it used to. Let's see what if it's this one. All right, there we go. I'm sorry. I'll explain real quick. I was trying to drag and drop a w uh, a web p format image, all right, that's not going to work. I'm sorry about that, technical difficulties. But if you have a PNG, um, JPEG, or any other of that sort, typically those two are the most important or popular. It'll just populate right here, all right? And that's about it, OK? You can add as many of these as you want, OK? And once you have all the list of your certificates and achievements, awards, diplomas, whatever you have that you want to showcase, OK, once they're all here, and preferably, I would just recommend for them to be in an image format. Once that's done and you have selected and you know curated everything you have to, OK, you're going to go to the top right corner. You're going to click on Share. OK, now, if you want to give access to someone, you can. Um, particularly for this scenario, I guess maybe not, because you want to have full control over what you want to share and disclose and maybe you know what not so uh, feel free to you know do whatever you need to or you know select any permissions but typically i would just recommend you be the full owner and have full control of that um, i don't think it necessary for you to share it with with another person unless you you think so okay so anyone with the link or code okay well i'm just going to say they can they can view but they cannot add or edit because I do want them to see my work, but I don't want them to edit anything over here. Okay, anyone you invite, we're not gonna invite anyone. I previously stated why, okay, very well. And we're going to go to publish, okay. Now, as we know, when you publish a collection, it's going to be available for you know people to see. So make sure that before you do that, your collections are in order, they're arranged in the way you want to. There is no private or sensitive information that should not be there being displayed, et cetera, OK? Once that's done, you can click Publish, all right? And there you go. If you have a website and you want to embed this particular um, uh, Wakelet collection, you can do so, OK? And what you can also do is just click on the copy link. OK, once you're done, click on Copy, and you have it in your clipboard. OK, so where do I see this? Very well, you're going to go to the top left side of your screen and click on your profile picture. And you're going to select Public Profile. That's where this collection has just been published. So we're going to click on that. OK, and this particular one is my personal weekly profile available to public to see. And down below, I do have some sections. As you can see, some of them are English and Spanish. So mine must be published somewhere at the bottom over here. OK, there we go. So let me just really quickly show you these. All right. The cool thing about Wakelet is once you have this profile, which can also serve as like a bio link, uh, but maybe with more steroids because of all the things that you can do. 
All right. You can add multiple sections. I have the about me section. I have my ed tech certifications. I am a GEG leader, right? A, a Google edu uh, educator group leader for the state here. So I have different sections. I have a private YouTube channel, uh, my portfolio, my, my, my design portfolio with Canva, uh, conferences I've given, et cetera. So you can actually have different sections within your public profile so people can better uh, see what, what categories of your work they want to you know, look into. So once you have published okay, your portfolio, it should come up here at the bottom where it says uncategorized. And voila, here it is. Okay, So let's say I want to move this all the way to, uh, let's say, where is me at my other section here? I'm going to move it to the one that says, oh, here we go, my ed tech certifications. So I'm just going to click, drag, and drop. Okay, and let's see. Oh, here. Let's move it over to this blank space. Okay, so I have successfully moved my collection over here to this section. Okay, and we can click on that. And there we go. Okay. Here is your collection, okay, where you can constantly add your certificates, awards, and so forth, okay. Should you want to just maybe troubleshoot it, I, you know, you can add, uh, I'm sorry, not add, you can open an incognito window, okay, and just paste the link that you copied from Wakelet, okay. Let's do that right now. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, there you go, okay. So this is how somebody who, uh, you know, they may, might or might not have Wakelet, it doesn't matter, but someone in the public can take a look, okay, at your Wakelet collection. As you can see, they won't be able to add or, you know, edit anything. They can definitely give you a nice thumbs up, right, which we do appreciate. Um, but you're safe, you know, they're not going to be modifying any information or anything like that. And you can showcase once and for all, all the amazing work you and your students have done throughout, you know, the months, years, time. I think it's a wonderful way you can share with the world what you have achieved. Wow, David, thank you so much. Um, I want to say that there was Alex is in the chat, loving that you were uh, adding in, dragging more than one file. I was taking notes. Um, I actually have a question for you um, before we switch over to Tara. My question for you is how often do you personally update your certificates, your profiles, and your portfolios? Do you have a strategy for that? Um, oh, yeah, yeah um, I guess maybe on saturdays like maybe once a week okay uh, if if i know i really haven't like gotten any uh, certificates or awards and there's nothing for me to do uh but i but if i've attended like webinars if i've given conferences yes. or if i've you know done this or that or finished a you know google course something of that sort and i you know do have a download and i have a couple of minutes then i just head over to wakelet really fast and just you know drag and drop like i showed you guys with the download icon um, that, that, you know, that, that amazing. would be the easiest one and it would save time. But if not, I mean, hey, you know, we're busy teachers, maybe just Saturday or Sunday, um, yeah. you know, take 15, 20 minutes at the most, drag and drop your certificates and voila. You know. That's amazing. And that's great advice. Um, that is something that I think teachers, it gets very overwhelming, um, right? Like you were saying, you have certificates in your inbox. You have certificates on Google Drive. I did. I had them everywhere. Um, so to be able to upload multiple files. And look, Ryan is joining me again because um, Ryan's going to have to leave. But uh, Ryan, what, what do you think? I thought it was impressive. I love the idea of, of teachers being able to share all their micro credentials, their badges, their earnings. Uh, definitely when someone earlier was sharing out about their like Danielson domain four and all of those things during evaluation process, that becomes a very handy portfolio for them to point to and say, here's yeah. everything that I've acquired throughout the year. Yeah, David, thank you so much. We're going to let you go, but uh, where can people find you? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, thank you very much for having me again. And you know, they can um, they can look me up if they want to maybe send me a message on, on Facebook. They can look as David A. Pena, or they can just you know type Ulango eLearning. And I'm pretty sure you know if you do that on Google, our, our contacts are going to show up. You know, our Twitter, our Facebook, our web web page, our Wakelet page. So um, yeah, 
uh, either one of those should point to you to me. All right. And if anyone uh, would need to uh, maybe just want to shoot an email to me, send me a question, a comment, and say hello, you can do so at info.ulango at gmail.com. That's Ulango with two O's at the beginning. Amazing. Thank you, David. It has been amazing having you. Um, thank you for joining Community Week and this 12 hour live stream session. And Ryan and I will see you again soon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Wish you the best. <laughs> you thanks. too. Bye-bye.